Hey everybody, it's Boot Ray Perry from Tampa, Florida, and today we're going to talk about the best strap for your Fuji X100V and the best strap hack for this particular strap, all right? So two little things we're doing today. Now, throughout this video, I'm going to throw some links up top because if you're a Fuji X100V user, and especially if you're new to the camera, you're going to want to watch some of these videos which will detail some of the features that are in this feature in this camera that you just don't see in other cameras and then really get into what this camera can do because the reason this camera is so popular right now is because people are discovering that it's not like other cameras. It can do things that other cameras can't do. So you're really not taking advantage of the camera. If you don't learn about those things, it'll really make the whole experience more fun for you. Uh, now this is my Fuji X100V and oh I've got that as you can see I've got the the wide angle uh, lens on the front of this right here. I have a video about this as well. This is a, a nice addition. It just widens it out just enough to give you a little bit more coverage and help you tell stories a little bit better with this camera although it does make it a little bit heavier and all that's in the review. So go find the review on my, on my channel. Um, and I'm a guy, I'm a strap guy. I like bags, I like straps, I like things that hold other things. So the strap that I use and that I love, I love it, I love this company, is a strap called Peak Design. Now, Peak Design makes a lot of different straps. It's a pretty wide one uh, for this particular camera. You can get one that's about half this width, which might be a more fitting uh, strap for this camera, but I actually use this to carry my camera bag as well as my camera. And I talk about all that in a video that I made about all the stuff that I carry on vacation. I'll put that link up here, up here as well so the straps are really well made the this the strap itself is like a seat belt material you can't rip it or you can't tear it it's got these beautiful buckles on it and it's got this anchor system right so the anchor system looks like this this is the anchor and this anchor hooks into the strap so you just take this let's see if i can turn it around for you you take this you put it right I'm doing it backwards so it's hard. You put it right in there and then you pull it and it's tight, right? These are rated, they're very thin, but they're rated at 200 pounds. And so now it's locked in and you can strap the, 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 the camera on and you're good. And then all you have to do is push and slide and it comes right out. But when it's locked in, it's not going anywhere. It's just fantastic straps. So here's my hack. Oh, before we do the hack, first, you got to watch this. Hey, it's pre-recorded Blu-ray here with a quick reminder to be sure and check out my podcast. It's called Photobomb. It's available anywhere the podcasts are found. I guarantee you will have a good time. Give it a listen. Also, join my group on Facebook. It's called Pro Photo Talk with Blu-ray Perry. It's a great community and a great place to go if you want to talk to fellow photographers, ask questions, have a good time, and like and subscribe to my channel because that helps to keep this channel alive. And the main thing that keeps this channel alive is my gear page. If you go down into the description and you look for my gear page, you will find links to all of the gear that I use both professionally and when I travel and if you click on one of those links you buy something I get a couple of dollars and it helps me to keep this channel alive all right here's my hack um, when you put this strap on the camera there's a couple of ways that they tell you you can do it one is that you can put an anchor on either side right here and right here and then you can just strap this to this side and strap this to this side and you're good to go Okay, that's fine. Except now when you're trying to use the camera, you've got straps hanging all off the camera, right? So it's like, and, and they're all kind of in your way. So the second way you can do it is that it comes with this little clip thing that goes right in the bottom of your camera right here. And you can put your straps onto the bottom. And when you do that, now the straps aren't up here by your hands. But now you've got these big straps and buckles all hanging like this from the bottom of your camera. Right? And that's kind of a nuisance as well. So, here's the hack. By the way, Peak Design does not in any way endorse this hack. And I'm saying that this is what I do. Uh, if you do it, you do it at your own risk. I've never had a problem, but if there's a problem, don't come looking at me, okay? Because it's not endorsed by Peak Design, but this is rated at 200 pounds. 200 pounds. So the question becomes, why do I need two of them? So here's what I did. I took the strap and I put an anchor on one side. I've got to turn this around. So I put an anchor on one side and then I take this one and I anchor it to itself. Now the beauty of this is now you have a closed system. 
right? It's closed. So if you take your camera off the strap, the strap stays on your body because it's a complete loop, looped around your body. This is, this is the genius of this hat. Because if you take your camera off the strap and, and, you, uh, and you've got it on either side or you've got it done to the bottom, the strap's going to fall off because it's, there's nothing keeping it on your body. It's just hanging loose like a scarf. But here, the strap never comes off your body, so it's just always there if you need it. And then you take one anchor and you put it on one side, and then you just eh, get in there, connect it in like that, and now you're hanging. I'm going to stand up so you can see it. There you go. There's your camera. Right there. So, this is how I strap my camera. So, if I bring the camera up to my eye, it fits right there nicely. The strap goes right through my thumb. See? And it's out of the way. Right? So, it's not really bothering me so much. But more importantly, what I find myself doing a lot it's just popping the strap off and using it, taking a few pictures, and then you're going to walk around a little bit. Oh, no problem. I'll just pop that back in, hang it, and now I'm good to go, right? Pull it up, take a quick shot, drop it. It's more comfortable. It hangs on your shoulder this way instead of hanging around your neck this way. This is my strap hack. I love this strap hack, and I love this strap. I'm going to put a link uh, down in the description uh, for this strap if you'd like to get one. And if you click that link, then, you know, I probably get uh, maybe a dollar or something like that. It helps me keep the channel alive, so I really do appreciate that. Be sure and like, and be sure and subscribe, and go and check all my videos, because if you are a brand new person who has just gotten the Fujifilm X100V, I am the channel for you. I have got a ton of videos about this camera, and the one before this, the F, they're basically the same, uh, and you will learn so much about this camera. You think you love it now? Oh my goodness, you're really going to love it when you learn how to really, really use it. All right, thanks for watching.